But with all the hand washing that you should be doing, our skin is taking a beating. But help is on the way with these treatment tips from makeup artist Brandy Price. Good morning, everyone. It's Brandy with Brandy Price Image, and I'm here today to give you your quarantine self care tip. Today, we're going to be talking about overnight hand treatments. I know we've really ramped up our game with washing our hands, and many of us are suffering the consequences of that with cracked and maybe even bleeding hands. I'm going to show you some different ways that you can heal those hands overnight and be able to start having a fresh set of hands to be able to do the work that you love to do. Okay, you really only need two separate items for your at-home hand treatment. Now remember, we are going to be doing this treatment overnight. That way we can not wash our hands for a duration of time while our hands are healing. I have a, a variety of different things that you can use. Definitely use something that you already have around the house. I have corn huskers lotion, which is really, really quickly absorbent, but also very um, emollient rich. We have Aquaphor Healing Ointment, which is a really great, slow absorbing uh, type of treatment. And then a regular hand cream. It doesn't really matter if it's scented or not. And we have coconut oil. So it really depends on which one you would like to have on your hands overnight. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is choose what we would like to have. And for me right now, I'm going to go ahead and go with a little bit of coconut oil. If you have coconut oil at home and you've only used it in cooking, it, it does uh, start off a little bit hard, but then it warms up with your body heat and turns into uh, like a regular oil that you would use. Um, it's not the viscosity of an olive oil, though you could certainly use olive oil for an overnight hand treatment. And you want to make sure that you are working it into every area of your hand. You see how red my hands are there. Um, this can heal very quickly overnight uh, with about two or three nights of treatments. I know we all have been washing our hands even more so this you know, right now than what we regularly have been, but we wanna make sure that we get enough product on our hands. And then we're going to grab our cotton gloves. You can use mittens, you can use children's mittens if your hand fits into them. The idea is that you really want to make sure that they are cotton because if they're cotton, they are going to be breathable. And then you're just going to slide your hands in there and you're going to keep this on overnight. Now, if you do wake up in the middle of the night and you're, you wanna take your gloves off, you can. You can also wake up in the middle of the night and do another round with a different product or the same product to be able to make sure that you are getting enough nutrients back into your hands to retain some moisture and start healing. The, the key component is to retain moisture. That is how you are going to get the best benefit with healing. So that's it, that's our two part process to starting to heal your hands overnight. Like I said before, it's going to take probably a few nights to be able to get your hands back in the best condition that they can possibly be. Maybe by Easter you'll have that ready.